Hi, my name is David Angeles, and I'm the Director of Networking Services with Marin Structure Technologies, and I'm here today to talk to you about VLANs. So what is a VLAN? It stands for Virtual Local Area Network. So basically, instead of having a bunch of switches and cluttering up your environment with a bunch of switches, and you want to make sure that you have a lot of space or a lot of area, so to speak, for your user base to connect to, we create VLANs. It's a basic way of segmenting your, net, your environment without having to procure many and many, many switches over and over again. You still have to do that in your data center if you're going to have disparity, but you also want to do that logically so you can logically segment your environment, basically breaking down uh, your broadcast domains. Now, what are the things that you need to be aware of or need to know about uh, working with VLANs is that you should identify your port access uh, right away, whether or not you need a trunk or an access port. What's the difference between a trunk and an access port? Basically, a trunk takes a lot of different VLANs, puts them all and squishes them all together in one port and then shoots them out. That way, everybody has access to that one. Usually, you would do that for an uplink to another switch or to a distribution switch or to a routed switch. Access, basically, they only need access to one, one VLAN and one VLAN, VLAN alone. So if you need to configure that for uh, your user base, probably it's going to be in the access side. Make sure you understand if it's a layer two or a layer three. So what is the difference? Layer 2 is just exactly that. It sits at layer 2, it tends to talk switch to switch, nothing else. It's not routed. Layer 3, obviously you're probably going to make that sucker a gateway or make it a, uh, a, a routed port. And then that gets us to the routed port section. So if you have a routed VLAN, if you're putting it into OSPF or some other pro routing protocol, it's very important that you identify which ones need to happen and need to live within the routed protocol, such as OSPF. So again, VLAN, virtual um, um, local area network. Uh, please visit us at marinstructuretechnologies.com if you have any more questions. Uh, this has been your Tech Minute.